What's happening, everybody? Sorry about that. It is Saturday night, and it's time for a thrift haul. I'm your host, Vegas J. And I'm Philly Nay. Hi, everybody. What's happening, Philly Nay? What's going on, everybody who, everybody else who is home on a Saturday night like we are? Hello, party Saturday night. Oh, yep. I got my cocktail, and I'm ready to haul. I have my green tea. <sighs> Yummy. All right, so those of you who are new to uh, seeing us, uh, we do these haul videos. Sometimes it's Nadine, sometimes it's me, and sometimes it's a guest. And we're, we're definitely overdue for a guest, but tonight is the first night. The first night we're doing it together. Mm -hmm. May will show a couple things, I'll show a couple things, and uh, we will go from there. So uh, might as well jump right off into it. You got something ready? Sure I do. All right, let's pop it over to you, and I'll then I'll grab my first item. Okay. Um... My first item is a Starbucks mug from, it's a Philadelphia Starbucks mug from the Architectural Series, um, which is dated 2006. So, it's my first you, item. Do you remember what you paid? Uh, one ninety nine. Nice. You know what that one's yeah. going for? No, I haven't looked it up yet, actually. And I don't know why Robin says Starbucks mug, maybe? Question mark? Yeah, that is a Starbucks mug. Yes. Uh, maybe you didn't say it, even though you showed it. Yeah, I said Starbucks mug, Philadelphia Philadelphia Starbucks mug from the Architectural Series in 2006. Cool. Um, and I have a DreamWorks logo mug. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's blue. It's just one-sided logo, but um, I thought that might be something that would do well. Okay, so those are those are the only mugs I have here. So do you want to show something? Sure. So the first thing I'm going to show is something I bought for myself, and you all understand why. Of course. <laughs> yeah. A little Aloha sign with a cocktail. Nice. How apropos. And then here's my – I have a couple questions tonight. Here's question number one. Explain these panties to me, will you please? Uh, Oh, they they look like they're um yeah they're the they're um they are those that are meant to like hold you in they're like oh well no it's got a pocket but not oh. like, but not like a condom pocket like big enough for my six plus okay uh, that I'm not sure so when when the uh, chat catches up ladies why does this panty have a pocket in the front this big what's it holding. And yeah, I'm not sure. I bought, it, I bought it for the sheer fun of it. I this tag is so small, I can't figure out what it says. Hmm. I, I haven't checked the RN number yet. I don't know why you'd want to pocket in your panties unless uh, you'd want to carry your feminine products in there or something. I don't know. That's okay, crazy. Well, a couple people said like a girdle, but why the pocket? Like yeah, what, what's the yeah, pocket? the control top thing I get and all, but the pocket is is a mystery. That is odd. What'd you I've say? I've never seen that. Okay, so I have a little audience tonight. My wife is here this evening. Ta-da! She, she says it's to carry an extra feminine product. That's what I said, maybe to yeah. Would you be digging in there for? <laughs> I don't think I'd I'd want to carry feminine products in my underwear, but maybe some would. No, it's protected. All right. Yeah, so, I guess. Uh, so I'll, I'll stick with the questions. I'll show you another one. I bought this awesomely big bra today. Okay. But here's something else I don't understand. Even my wife was like, I'm not sure. It has two sets of hooks. Two straps, two sets of hooks. And four hooks each, so eight hooks total. Extra back support? I guess. So if it's a large size, maybe it provides extra back support? Yeah, this is um, Butterfly by Ashley Stewart, and it's a 44 triple D. Yeah, I would assume that's the reason. But I, I have never seen a bra with those, so I got a... Oh, I haven't either, but... A panties with a pocket and a bra with a double strap back. I'm like, hmm. Oh, Christine had an answer there. That <laughs> uh, could be. It could be, yes. To pad out male parts, all right. Yeah, never know. Hey, to each his own, I don't care what it's yeah. for. I mean, I care because I want to sell it that way. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. So All right, you're up there. You're okay, so I have this wooden um, this wooden poodle um, painting on wood. It's very it's it's kind of got like a '70s vibe, and um, it is signed by yeah, it's actually signed M Van Valley, 1979. So, and it's actually kind of it's kind of like amateurish, kitschy, but well painted in a way. So it's it's kind of funny. So it's one of those kind of kitschy pieces of art. Got a hanger on the back. So. Um, you, know, you know what you paid? Oh, by the way, I paid like two bucks for the bra. Two yeah, bucks for the I paid two ninety nine because the price is on the back. Still. All right. Um, so if people say it's extenders for nursing bras. Hmm, I don't know. Huh. Maybe. I still like my purchase. I don't know what. <laughs> All right. Okay. I was in a class, and I was teaching a class in Cleveland. I usually don't buy stuff when I teach, usually one or two things. But I was trying to get a guy to get out of his own way. I'm like, let's go buy some purses. Oh, I can't go in the purse section. I guess you can. If I can go in the purse section, you can go in the purse section. You don't look scary. So uh, I went in the purse section, and this popped right out to me. Oh, yeah. And it is a brand that uh, you should all probably know. I can find my Oh, angle. it's a sack. Yeah. Uh, and I, I couldn't find this exact one, but things like this were going for like $35, $40. Yeah, and I, I sold some of the plain sack purses. That, that's really different. So um, these oh. are actually given to me by my mom. She was like, here, sell these. Um, they are frogs. I like it. Yeah, they're, they're, a pair of, they're a pair of fishing frogs. Um, there's, a, there's one with a... Can you see them both here? Yep. They're kind of ugly, but... Um, I think somebody might buy them. So, so we'll the how. question is, did your mom buy them, or did somebody give them to your mom? You know, I honestly don't know that. I'd have to ask her. But she said I can sell them, so. All right, so this is going to be, tune in this week, this Thursday, to Thrifty Business with Jay and Nay, because this will be the lessons. I will not explain the lesson tonight, obviously. This will be uh, my thrifty tip. So it is uh, Nick and Nora. They're mm -hmm. always a great brand. So that's what you're looking for, that little Nick and Nora right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Christmas Doggies. Yep. Cool. And then in a different spot, I found the matching robe. So it's red on the outside. Oh, nice. The little doggy. And then the inside of the robe is the matching print. Cool. So, but keep that in mind, Thursday night you'll hear a tip about how to maneuver around the thrift store. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's okay. All right, we have, um, you have Universal Studios Woody Woodpecker with a surfboard. What does a shirt say? Oh, Universal Studios? Yeah. So we'll see about that. Uh, somebody was asking about the TV they hear on the background. No, that is Nadine's Hi. children. Yes, I apologize about that. They're playing a game right now. No, no need to apologize. You're a working mom who works out mm -hmm. of her house. Well, they're still up, so. but it's Saturday night. We do let them stay up a little later. And I'm going to do another one in a row here. Um, hey, before you go on, what are they watching? Because when I was young, that age, and stayed up on Saturday night, I watched Love Boat and Fantasy Island. Oh, no, they're playing a game on the Wii. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Fantasy Island. Yeah. Hold on a second. I have to step back to this. So. <clears throat> so Nadine is showing a lovely Afghan, black with green and red, that would look awesome on some grandmother's lap. What's up, squares there? I don't know anything about Afghans. I might they might have caught my eye, but I don't I don't know I don't know anything about Afghans. Yeah, it's a really nice one. It's well done and it's um it's got good colors. I think you know it could be marketed for Christmas, but not necessarily. And it was has a five dollar tag on it still, so I'm assuming that is what I paid for it, unless it was half off. I don't remember, but it's heavy. 
It's really nicely done. So, and it doesn't have any snags or pulls in it. It's in great condition. Hey, I don't want to keep harping on my underwear, but uh, somebody has a, what I think is probably the answer. It says Thermacare makes a heating pad to put under or in your underwear for cramps. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Paula. That might be the mystery. Mm, interesting. I like it. All right. So I'm going to show you three things together here. Uh, Stace and I went to a garage sale. We got some great stuff, but we're going to save that as a, a its own haul a little bit later. Uh, but we were near a thrift store, and she wanted to get some bread across the street. So I'm like, oh, hey, can we stop in? I'm, I'm always on the hunt for jeans. Denim is my new thing. And so we didn't spend a lot of time, but cruising through, you know I found some silver tab baggies. Of course. <laughs> so there's, the, there's one of the tags. Silver tab had a few different tags. There's one of them. And these are very specific. They're silver tab baggy straight. So I got those for three dollars. Good and job. And then we walked down the the uh, shirt aisle, and I was, you know, my wife does not like thrifting, so I go kind of quick, and I just walk down aisles. You know, we talked about how do you thrift a store quick. You talk because you have kids. I do it because I got a right. wife who gets annoyed, <laughs> and so I just walk down the long sleeve shirt aisle quickly. And one thing caught my eye. Sure, I'll buy this Robert Graham for three dollars and fifty cents. Nice. For those of you who don't know who Robert Graham is, there's a tag. Nice. Uh, got a great print. And when I turned around and put it in my cart, I went, oh, sure. I'll buy this Jimi Hendrix shirt for $3. Nice. And the Hendrix uh, shirts are really awesome because his name is embroidered on the back. Oh, very cool. So within about three seconds, I found a Robert Graham, a Jimi Hendrix, and a Silver Tab baggie. So the good yeah. stuff is still out there cheaply. Good job. Okay. Hey, um, before, you, before you go on, what do you yes. think that, somebody's asking what, what that blanket is worth? That oh after? my goodness, I have no idea. I have to I have to look and price it. I I haven't um, I'm gonna go high with it. I might I might try to get like a hundred for it, but I'm not sure. Oh, um, let me ask you this: When you take a picture of the Afghan, do you stage it a little bit, like throw it over the back of the couch, like? It's yeah, I it's yeah, I will. I definitely will do that, yeah. Yeah, to show the the full size of it and whatnot. Um okay, so I have these funky shoes. They're brand new. They are an Asian brand. They're um they're jump. Um you can see them, they're like funky platforms and they have like um like a cool um embroidery on them. You can see that? Oh yeah. And uh there's the bottom. Is that them? There. I mean, they've never been. Oh yeah, I see the little sticker still. Yeah, they're they've never been worn, so they're pretty cool. Um, but Stacy wants to know what size. They are. Let me see. And while Nay's looking, I'll answer a question. I think yeah. those silver tabs, because they're not the old school, just silver tab baggies, oh. but because they're straight and they're only size 34s. I think I'll get about 50 for them, give or take. Oh, eight and a half. Ah, uh, too big for Stacy. <laughs> and they're too small for me, darn it. <laughs> so they're getting sold. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, and then, my, mom, uh, my, my mom just said she sold an Afghan kind of like yours for 50. Okay, so maybe that's more of the range that I should go in. I'm not sure. I, I really wasn't sure. I'll, I'll go. I'll do another item um, while I'm... Yeah. I have a, a Kathy Van Zeeland purse. This is kind of a middle of the road brand. They always sell. They always sell pretty well. Probably like twenty nine ninety nine. I'll get for it. So it's it's a decent purse. It's not like super high end, but it's it's a it's a good seller. When I find these for cheap, I pick them up. All right, show us that so. front there and hold it steady. Sure. There we go. So people. Can... They're always kind of glitzy and glammy, and they have like kind of wild colors and prints and stuff. And then the insides always have. Um, this like purplish kind of lining. Um, up, 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 yeah. There you go. Cool. And there's the there's the logo. So um and then they have they always have this little crown on the zipper pull. Nice. Yeah, I would have uh, I would have gravitated towards that purse. Yeah, that that these Kathy Van Zeele, they always sell. Like I said, they always sell for me. They don't get like a they don't fetch a lot because they're not like I said they're just middle kind of middle of the it's a middle of the road brand. But but they do um, 
there are fans of the brand, and they usually do bring uh, like a good thirty to thirty-five dollars. I've sold them for used. So, hey, uh, back to those shoes. Did you? I, and you may have said this. I may have missed it. Did you know that brand, or or did you just? Oh no, I just thought they. Were, I just it just by style that time that was just yeah pure style. Just pure eye. You're like oh those look yeah. Cool. Yeah, exactly, and I could tell they weren't worn, so I could tell they were something unique. Yeah, it's so. like that. Uh, it's like that purse I showed already. I, you know, there was this wall of purses, and yeah. nothing was sticking out, but those flowers stuck out. So Sometimes I they just, uh, yep. I knew the brand, and I'm like, this should be a good purchase. And they were stuck in with the men's shoes, oddly. So those were in the men's shoes. They were. They're not men's shoes, obviously, <laughs> but they were stuck in with the men's shoes. Somebody had just like dropped them there. Yeah, so. All right, I um, if you're a skier, you'll know this brand. If not, you'll probably just giggle. So Head Skis, uh, mm -hmm. they make uh, great skis, but this is an awesome kind of like lightweight skiing jacket. So for not the dead of winter, but like some spring skiing, it's uh, very soft, and this is the little pocket for your phone. Or back in the old days, we used to have to ski with our Sony Walkmans, so they were like a brick. <laughs> Uh, you know, it was like this big. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is uh you know for your phone, and this was two dollars and fifty cents. It's fleece lined, and it's pretty gorgeous. I I love this jacket. I wish it, if it was my size, I'd be keeping it. But this will uh, this will be an easy sell. Did I miss? I got throw harder. Damn it. Okay. Um, am I up then? You are up. Okay. So I have this cool fruity, like, um, it looks like it's handmade. Can you see the bottom of it? Go a little bit higher. There we go. I see pears, and I see apples, and I see... Mm -hmm. It's all embroidered. It's a double-layered skirt. It's kind of like, um, kind of got like that um, kind of hippie prairie kind of thing going on. And it's, um, it is a small size, size 2. Whoa! But, um, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a, and and the brand I've never heard of either. But I bought it again. I bought this purely for the the cool like embroidery and the fruits and stuff. So and I do sell smaller sizes. They usually take longer to sell, but it'll sell. It's cute. It's just tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. But I sell I sell twos. I sell all all sizes. And while I'm going on clothing here, I'll do a couple more. Um, I have a. You ever see this brand? Pick it up. It's a Chico's Travelers. Let me see the label. See I know the label. Chico's brand, but I, I don't know the Chico's. The Travelers brand is what you really want because they're they're um, you call them travel knit, and then you <clears throat> they're it's an acetate blend that is supposed to be um, like for it's supposed to be wrinkle free for traveling. This is a jacket. It's a size two in Chico's, which is about a size large. They have their va they have vanity sizing in that brand, um, and it's got these cool um, frog buttons on it. Let's see, you see the buttons? Nope. <laughs> Stop moving so fast. <laughs> got it now. <laughs> okay, so that I I picked up that. Hey, uh, you, I don't I don't know the term, so can you explain to especially everyone watching uh -huh. what, what is vanity sizing? Vanity sizing is sizing that, um, like Chico starts at a zero. That would be like a size extra small or small um, uh, one or small, I guess. And then a one would be like a medium. A two is like a large. A three is like an extra large. Like they just have their own method of sizing. They don't go by normal standard sizes. So you, if you go on their website, you can translate the sizes. But that's what vanity sizing is. So that so that someone doesn't wear a two X large, they wear a size three. Can I say something that that's why I'm glad I'm a dude. I when I buy my pants or buy my waist size, my actual waist, <sighs> size. not some <laughs> magical numbers that change from store to store. Nope. It's uh, chest and waist, and that's how I buy my clothes. Hey, my mom wants to know, what do you think you're going to sell that uh, Chico's for? The Chico's will probably go for between $25 and $30. Cool. And this is a, let's see, yeah, free people, free people. You always pick up free people if you see free people. Higher. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Can you see the label? Keep going. Keep going. Right. 
antennas. There you go. See, okay. that's, a, that's a thin little hole. Yeah. Moly. Well, anyway, it's a tunic dress. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's a sweater tunic. It's wool, and it's three people, and it is a size small, but it's gonna it's it's oversized a little bit. It actually it fits me, so um, so that's a good one. Are you gonna model it for us? <laughs> um, not right now, but okay. <laughs> sorry. And we just went to uh, Cinemax after dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go. All right, hang on a sec. Uh, I have to go off screen for a second just to grab some of my stuff that fell over there. So. All right. All right. So I'll go. So I went out, uh, had some Australian friends in town, and went through in Thursday, and of course I found some more silver tabs. Silver tabs are out there. They're easy to find. Uh, these are and these are white silver tabs. They are not baggy. They are silver tab loose. And the only bummer is they're tiny. They're 31 waist, 34 uh, length. I was a fake. I was a 31 waist when I was probably nine. <laughs> so it'll be uh, it'll be a slower sale, but uh, they were only a couple bucks. So what a deal! Hey, back to purses. Uh, Le Sport Sack always sells, and with just some quick. Searching on eBay, I found the name of this purse, this style. The the crossbody has a specific name and the name of this pattern. So I think it's Kylie, Kaylee, or something. And this is called the gumdrop pattern. And it'll sell for about 30 bucks. It weighs nothing. It weighs, it weighs five ounces. I can sell a purse free shipping. Customers will love it. And uh, I could probably get 35, 40 bucks for it. Hello, are you back? Yes, I'm modeling my uh, oh <laughs> <laughs> over my T-shirt. Well done. <laughs> yeah, so well done. There you go. Hey, Nadine for the win tonight. <laughs> oh, too funny, Nadine model after all that. All right. So while she's now changing again, uh, some more Levi's. So these are five fifties. But what I liked is they're orange tag, orange tabs there, and they are made in the USA. So they are definitely older. So this is the tab you're looking for. This is not oops, this is not specifically the tab for all made in the USA. So you got to still look. Some uh, older made in Mexico tabs are this way. This tab is generally going to be older. So what also is nice is they're not normal color kind of a beige khaki color Levi's. So um, these will be a cool sell. I'm going to say they're vintage, made in the USA, the color, and their orange tab. So the denim collectors like weird stuff. Okay. Hello, my model. Are you back? <laughs> I'm back. So I found a pair of Ugg sandals. They are authentic Uggs, and they were $4.99 at Goodwill. Um, I walked in this week and I bought a pair of jeans for myself and these Ugg sandals and that was it. Um, and they are like the 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 sheep not the the sheepskin stuff. It's not like it's that fuzzy stuff. It's coming off a little bit on the toe, so I'll just have to note that. And um, they are they need a little cleaning up on the insoles, which I can do. Um, they're a small size. They're a size six, so that um, they might not sell as quickly, but they will sell. The soles are not in too bad of shape. They do have some wear issues, so I won't get as much for them, but um, they will definitely sell because they're Uggs. And so that was a good find. Um, I have these boots that um, if these fit me, I would have kept them, but they don't. <laughs> they're actually... Tall sneakskin. They're not. Sne they're not really sneakskin. They are just tall boots that are. Oh, so sneakskin. Yeah. But they are. Um, they're actually aerosols. So that brand is not bad. Um, it's kind of another like comfort, like middle of the road brand. So, but I think I should do okay with these. And I paid two dollars for these, so that's uh, why I grabbed them. And they're in almost perfect shape. So, and. Um, hey, how do you clean the insoles? Somebody's asking. Um, I am probably with these going to take a bit of um, Dreft baby detergent um, 
and water and just just very 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 um, softly with a sponge I'll just kind of go over it and until uh, the dirt comes off and then dry them so hey and, do, me, do me a favor will you when you're doing that take a picture obviously before you start mm -hmm. especially if it looks good that will we'll, yeah. we'll uh, put it up uh, in the group and show how you know you can you know, if you have something that is vintage or antique, yeah. there we go. There's the soles. You can see that the insoles have some have some dirt issues. Like they need to be clean. So, yeah. Uh, if you have an antique or something uh, really older, no, it doesn't have to be an antique, but it's got some patina. We hardly ever recommend cleaning because a couple things could happen. The customer might want it patinaed, and or you might screw it up. My dad had this awesome vintage mantle clock probably from the 1800s, and he took a cloth with some of it and wiped the face, and as he came around, he saw the numbers disappear. So, don't oh. clean. Yeah. Oh, but wow. modern shoes that are dirty, clean them up. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then I have, I'll have, i do one more before I pass it back to you. This is the craziest thing I have ever found, like the craziest, one of the craziest garments, I should say, not the... I think it was handmade. There's no tags in it. It's like a size small. I can get it on, but um, it's. I don't like the the length of it. It's too short. Here, hold, hold it steady. Hold it up and steady. It's like this thick, thick velvet material that you would find. It's like couch upholstery material. Nice. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like. Is something that you would upholster a couch with. Can you see the? It's got oh, yeah. all these. It's got these crazy like nights and like bagpipe guys and it's like I don't know what's going on there but it's basically made out of couch upholstery material. So what you're saying is it would have been the perfect shirt for Stacy to wear last night when we were at an outdoor concert and it was 103 degrees. <laughs> oh yeah I'm sure that would have been great yeah. <laughs> so but that, that's definitely unique. It was unique enough that I had to buy it so. Cool. All right so I saw this shirt. The brand is Willie Clayton Fashions Rhythm and Soul Collection. And Willie Clayton is, I don't even know if he's still alive, or was, a rhythm and blues singer. So here's the label. A little microphone and a guitar. And it's got this wicked, I mean, the buttons are just so not normal. Three buttons for the collar. The buttons for the, for the outside of the collars are way out here. It's got some fancy cuffs, and the only one I saw on eBay was listed for five hundred dollars, and the seller was keyword spamming the hell out of it. He, he put Elvis in the title, vintage. Yeah. And I did find some sales for this. It's not the five hundred I was hoping, but it'll still sell. But uh, you know, I saw a different brand I'd never seen. I saw one person had listed for five hundred, so I took kind of a gamble. But uh, you know, I'll make some money, and then this shirt. I'm sad it wasn't triple X for me or ladies medium for my honey because it's awesome. It is the most blinged out pirate skull t-shirt ship I've ever seen. Wow. That is. But sadly, not to my size. Nor that is state. very blingy. And now here's a little tip. So we'll give some little bonus tips. All right. See, this, see the brand? The brand means absolutely nothing mm -hmm. in this shirt. You will not waste any space in your title with pro power. It's going to be uh, Skulls, Jolly Roger, Pirate Ship, Anchor, Tattoo Art, Blinged, uh, Bejeweled, whatever. So is that just a normal shirt that someone actually took and... No, these pro power shirts, I got a few. I wear a couple, actually. Okay, so they do uh, have... They make all these things, but it's such a brand that nobody ever looks for it. But if somebody sees this... They're like, oh, my God, I need that. But mm -hmm. it's not like the Robert Graham or the Jimi Hendrix or the Levi Silver Tab. This brand does not sell it, so it won't matter. So don't waste space in your title. Okay. So I know I thrifted this when I – back – I still haven't listed it. Back when I was with you, you'll probably remember this. And we went to in New Jersey, this uh, – the sweater with the bunnies. What in the hell? <laughs> yes. Do you see that? Yes. Does that look familiar? It's a Michael Simon sweater. That's awesome. If you can see it up closer. Can you see the bunnies there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. And it's in really good condition. All sequin ears and stuff. Um, then I also have, for those of you who know the brand St. John, that's always, always, always a bolo. You never pass up St. John. Not to be confused with St. John's Bay, which is a, uh, I believe a... Hold it higher. Band. You just won't hold it higher, will you, girlfriend? <laughs> because I can't, it's weird, because I can't see my it on my screen when, yeah. Can you see it now? A little higher. No, you're going lower. Higher. 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 I feel like I'm, uh, price is right. Now to your right. There we go. <laughs> okay. So there we are. Didn't you see this, the, the St. John tag? Okay, so this is a beauty. It is um, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got um, an embroidered heart in the middle of it. It's a Santana knit, which is their trademark knit. Back up, back up, back up. And now down a little bit. It's got a, yeah, it's got a nice embroidered heart in the middle with sequins, oh, yeah. lace sleeves. Um, and knew it sold for, I mean, th these go for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yeah. This brand. No, no, no. St. John is like, yeah. So um, this one, I forget. I looked it up. Um, I looked it up and knew it was, it's from a line from a few years ago and knew it was like $500 or something. So um, I don't know. I have to see if there's any on there right now, but um, I can probably... I know I'll get at least a hundred for that because of the brand and uh, because of the line it's from. And it is a Santana knit. That's what you want to look for. Usually you find the suits and jackets in those. I haven't found any of those. I've just found a pair of St. John pants and this is my first St. John top that I've found. Um, so yeah, if you ever see St. John, grab it. Um, right. so most of my stuff is not on the floor. It's in a tub, so nobody needs to... <laughs> All right, I'm going to do one more dress, and then I'll pass it to you. All right. This is a, um, I have to talk about my, uh, it's a Don Sayer Wellmore brand. Oh. <laughs> vintage, I think it's vintage, I'm going to say late 70s or early 80s, and it is just, it's all bling. Like the whole waist is bling, that's the sleeves. Yeah. I think we need to get made to model that too. <laughs> you can't hear me, of course. But hey, you need to model that too. I do. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll step off to the side. All right, cool. All right. I have no fear. <laughs> All right, so I actually bought a dud. I thought it'd be awesome. So I bought this uh, Mickey Mouse handkerchief, and it's not all that exciting. But when I looked at the tag. The tag says Walt Disney Productions. Ah, so tiny. Made in Italy. So I thought, score. Now, the last couple sold for like $4, $5. So not really a score. But uh, here's my uh, get out of here uh, find of the day. So this band is called Dirty Penny. So I'll let you all take a look at them for a second. Very glam rock, very, uh, you know, sunset strip look. And I show this to my wife. I go, what year do you think this band came out? She's like, late 80s. I'm like, nope, 2007. And this this T-shirt just sold for 26 bucks, and I paid $2. Oh, hang on a minute. They need it back. All right. I have to step back. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, step back. <laughs> Actually, not that bad. It's kind of uh, it's kind of like what Wonder Woman would I wear to a hear. fancy dance. It's kind of like yeah. what Wonder Woman would wear to a fancy dance. Yeah, it's it's a funny dress, but you get you got, got some uh, Wonder Woman bracelets. You're on. <laughs> it's got the bling on the top and around the, the waist. So there you go. Very nice. <laughs> so when you find band shirts, you have no clue. Like I didn't never heard of Dirty Penny, but it's easy to look up because it had their album on the back. Take it sleazy. So I just looked it up. This shirt's over 26. I think they only had one CD out. It actually is kind of rare, even though it's only from a few years ago. And uh, for two bucks, I'm like, sweet. All right, so I stopped into a Goodwill thinking they had their Halloween stuff out, and they didn't. 
And I see, I've been seeing some people posting that Halloween costumes are out of their uh, stores. Not mine. Still too hot here, I guess. So I stopped in this Goodwill. It was super busy. I gave a quick buzz around. And I found one thing. I have never, ever left a thrift store with just one thing. Have I ever? Maybe one other Okay, maybe this is my second time of only buying one thing. And I saw a row that caught my eye, and I thought, uh, this is a good brand, if I'm recalling correctly. Now, it doesn't sound... Ooh, excuse me. One burps. It doesn't sound like much, but this is the Canyon Group, made in the USA. And this is a uh, robe with coffee uh, coffee embroidery on it. Nice. Now, this is a short, kind of like just covering your ass cheeks robe. Uh, the full-length version of this just sold on eBay for $170. And I paid uh, six bucks for it. So Canyon Group robes go when we're done. Don't do it now. When we're done, go look them up. Canyon Group robe, nothing else sold. And look how much price they get. Look for Canyon Group robes. And I wish I could angle this down. A few pieces of clothes didn't make it, and my dog is curled up <laughs> on top of it like it's his new bed. So Tiki has taken over the uh, couple of the shirts. That's his oh, new. Oh no. Um, uh, before I show my last thing, I want to say a few things. Uh, we have... I do? Oh, yeah, I have two things. We have 101 people watching us tonight, Nadine. Wow. Wow. That's, awesome. That's great. 102. Oh, 101 again. Thank you, everybody, very much. I'm glad that there are 102 other people that are like us at home on Saturday night. Yes, that's great. Thank you. So thank you. Um... Uh, if you like what you see, click thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, tell us why. We will fix it. Oh, I just sold a pug t-shirt. How cute. I'm talking about my oh, pug. Yeah. And I sold a pug shirt. How weird. That's crazy timing. So give us a thumbs up. Make sure you go below and click on subscribe if you haven't already to know when we're doing other videos. We do Thrifty Business with JNA every Thursday night uh, at uh, 6 p.m. on the West Coast, the Best Coast, 9 p.m. on the Worst Coast, the East Coast. <laughs> I call it the right coast and the wrong coast, but. Oh, okay. I think Rachel from Friends had that robe. I'll have to look into that. Thank yeah. you, Bobby. Um, uh, but our haul videos, they kind of come, you know, Nay's got uh, a family, and I have a family of dogs. <laughs> so we just kind of hop in when we can, and this is our first uh, tag team. I think everybody liked it, so we'll definitely do another tag team when we can. And... Uh, Still haven't shown that. What? Mr. Virus. Do you have more Didn't to I show? show the stuff? Didn't I show the penicillin? Yeah. Yeah, I finally showed the penicillin. I did. Do you have more items? I have two more things. What do you got? Okay, uh, I have a few more too. So. And hey, don't we have a special little shout out tonight? Oh yes, we do. Um, let me, uh, her name is Trinity, and she's nine years old. Hi, Trinity. What? And she is probably our youngest viewer. Yeah, uh, if you can beat nine, we have a nine-year-old fan. Like, a nine-year-old wants to watch two old people show the used crap they want? <sighs> I have no clue, but hello, Trinity. What's happening? Two old people. Wait a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I met me and Stacy. <laughs> I'm still in my 30s, goodness. <laughs> oh, and people want to see our stores, so you show your items, I'll get our stores up, and I'll show our stores. Okay. So, you're on, go ahead. Okay. Um, so, I have this beautiful, beautiful fabric. I think it's Indian. Um, it's, it's got an Indian vibe to it. I paid $1.50 at Goodwill. There's a couple yards here. You see that? Yep. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, so I think that that should do well. Um, it's got like a really intricate print to it. So um, let's see what else I have um, real quick. I have, uh, mm -hmm, I found, this is an interesting find. All this yarn is actually, it's all very, very vintage yarn. You can see it's like a scoville and it's all wool. It's needlepoint yarn and it comes with it came with the actual original um, 
it's all folded, unfortunately, but it came with the original needlepoint um, already. Um, it's, got, it's already, you know, hand. Wow, that's awesome. Hold that down yeah. a little bit. I want to see the yeah. girl's face. Yeah, so that just came in like a mishmash wow. bag in the Goodwill, and it came with all the yarn that it's needed. And it's it's super tall. It's huge. Um, and I can tell you that um, it's definitely old, like very old. So that's I'm not sure. Yeah, and then um, along that line, I'll just go quick with these. So there were some dud patterns in the bag, you know, like Goodwill likes the bag together stuff. So there were some dud patterns that I'll sell for like five dollars a piece. But and I don't know how this is going to do because it's it's a little older. But it's a DMC sealed color stitchers guide with the samples of all of the thread colors in it. Um, and. I think Trinity is actually eight. I think I just saw she's going to be nine in two weeks. Oh, okay. Well, eight-year-old likes us, Nadine. We have. Closed. That's amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. We love Trinity. Um, I found a couple kits: Christmas stocking, um, dimensions partial. I have to. I have to. I have to like you know say what's what's in some of these because some of these are opened. Another Bucilla that's partial. Um, that's the problem when you get into these like mishmash bags that you can't open. Like sometimes this is a full kit though. This is I don't know what this is, but so I got some kits and a Bucilla pillow that would be, embroidery. That would be Santa Claus, my dear, in case you don't know who that is. Hmm. I said I don't know what this is. I said it's Santa Claus. And um, these are really cool. These are mid-century modern. Um, they're definitely mid-century. They're Sirocco Incorporated. And they do have the year on them. If I could read Roman numerals, but I'll have to pop that into Google. Um, I think they're from the 60s, though. And um, they're that, like, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's not, it, it's, it's like a plastic resin, kind of. They're really cool. You can see them. They're horrible. I know, but they're, they're, they're so ugly that they're just awesome. Oh, yeah. But they're horrible. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> And they're pretty lightweight, so I don't think you know they'll be too bad to ship. So, cool. Um, Is that it? Yeah, that's about it. I have a um. Oh, well, I have three more things. Can I show them? Let's do it. Okay, I've got a paper airplane kit here. Vintage paper airplane kit. Hold it up. Uh, back, up back up a little bit and hold it up. There you go. Huh. I've never seen paper airplane flying kit before. It's pretty neat. Yes, it's sealed. It's it's a it's it looks like it's yeah. What is it? Stacy said, "What is it? Just a ream of paper?" <laughs> no, it's all like it's all printed designs, um, and it has like the fold marks on it and everything. So that's kind of cool. And Lily Pulitzer iPad case. Oh wow! Yeah, that's cool. And. Um, the, the other thing is, the, my last thing is... Hey, you're going to have to figure out which iPad that fits, by the way. We lost her. Come back, Nadine. Come back. A whole load of vintage stockings and pantyhose. Ah, Dan skin. My favorite. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. Uh, okay. out <laughs> we've got Dan skin. We've got, I don't know, Meyer brand and... Uh, let's see. I don't even know what these are. Givenchy. This Claiborne. Yeah, they're all like 70s, 80s, you know, mostly 80s. Heather Givenchy. So I've got a whole mess of those to list now. Um, okay, I guess that's, that's about all I'm going to show now. All right, so now I'm going I'm to show you two more things and we'll call it a night. Yep. Uh, I have never high five myself in a thrift store, but I did the other day. I'm like, yeah, good job, Jay. So I'll give you a bonus thrifting tip today, not on our sh on our normal show, but today. I tend to find tiki mugs in the vase aisle of your thrift store. Uh, yes. This is kind of a normal tiki mug. Um, it looks like a tiki. All right. This was sitting in the vase aisle, and right away, oh, we have a visitor. Hello. Yes, we do. <laughs> What's happening? 
this was sitting in the vase aisle, and right away I'm like, I think that's a Francoma coconut mug that people will use uh, in their tiki bars. Francoma made a lot of pottery, a couple tiki things, and I looked at the bottom, and it said nothing. And I'm like, man, it's maybe ripped off the Francoma coconut mug. So I just left it there, and I stepped one step away, and I'm like, wait a minute. So I grabbed my phone, I went to eBay, I looked up Francoma blue coconut mugs, and a picture of this exactly showed up. And I'm like, I know it's a Francoma. So I flipped it over again, and you'll you'll probably never be able to tell. It's over glaze, but it does. Oh, you can kind of see. It does say Francoma in there. There's a little bit too much glaze. And I mean, this is not an expensive item. Of, I, I could sell for thirty-five dollars, but I don't have one. So the tip is: look in your vase section. You will find tiki mugs. This is considered a tiki mug. Now. If you find the Francoma War God Tiki Mug, that's the Mac Daddy. That's a mug that sells every day for $500. Look it up. You'll see what I'm talking about. And we have one other item. Now, most of you know I'm into everything Hawaiian. See my shirt, Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Apua Aa. And we're into tiki stuff. So today we found the perfect decor for our tiki Hawaiian house for the right price. So let's play. Okay, we got 101 people watching. The first person to get it or get closest will win lunch on Nay and Jay from Subway. It is this giant surfboard behind me. All right, now flip it over and show. Uh, uh, yeah, walk that. You know, walk this way. No, that way. There you go. Show the little rudder. I don't even know what the hell the rudder is called. So we found this awesomely giant surfboard, all right? So let's play Guess How Much This Costs at a thrift store, at a major chain thrift store. And while we're doing that, while we're waiting for guesses, I will show our stores because people always ask about our stores. Go on upstairs. So let me show our stores to you. Uh, so in case you want to buy something from us or check out what we're selling, how we're selling it. Here's Nadine's. Hers is Clover blah, 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 Dazzle. Yeah. What's, what's your store name? Colgrave is Dazzling Finds. All right. So there's Nadine's yes, right honey. there. And then here's just a couple of the stuff that Nadine's got in her store right now. Very nice. And hers has a little asterisk in the middle. I made mine very easy. It is Tiki Pug Music, three words. Super duper easy. And uh, right now I have all my T-shirts on sale for 40% off. So if you want a fun T-shirt... Come on in, and everything else in my store is 25% off. So come on over and uh, buy something fun. All right, let's see what the guesses are on my giant surfboard. Okay, I'm backing up here. Oh, I see somebody very close. I'll go back and back and back, 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 back. Uh, is the guest Frank? No, it's Frank. Oh, Frank <laughs> Francoma, F R A N K O M A, I think. Yep. All right, so I see one close guess, two close guess. Oh, I'm showing, I'm showing the close guesses. <laughs> Let me stop doing that. Oh, we got, we got our closest. We have our closest, Nadine. Okay. All right, so I am officially calling it over. And that giant surfboard costs us $2.50. What? Yes. What? And so Ellie Dufresne guessed $2. And so she was the closest. And, uh, huh? What? How did, uh, was, that with, was that with multiple oh, discounts? Or? Okay. So we had three people who guessed, uh, two, uh, two people guessed two ninety nine, and one who guessed two. I will call all three of you winners. So Ellie Dufresne is a winner. And... My math skills failed me right there. Yeah. Thanks, my wife pointed out. You're all winning. Susan. Huh? Susan. Susan Van Slyke, you won. And Kathy Hughes, you won. Those are our three winners. So Facebook me, and you will win lunch on us. And I, because my math skills suck, I went from one winner to three winners. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, we give away stuff here on JNA. We gave away a lot of stuff on Thrifty Business last week, and uh, mm -hmm. I have some more fun stuff to give away coming up. Oh, where'd your little helper go? Oh, uh, he went back upstairs. Mom's not fun. She's on the air. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to. He wanted to know if I was selling the airplanes. And then he went to Woody Woodpecker. He wanted to know if I was selling that. And I said yes. And then he got all disappointed. And he went up. 
So they like to shop my inventory. Well, yeah, well, that happens here just a little bit. I'm guessing it happens with three boys way more oh, than, yes. than one old wife. And sometimes I give I give in. <laughs> All right, well, hey, let's call it. It was a fun thrift haul. We did a lot of we had a lot of great items. I hope everyone learned a lot. Uh, I hope you saw some things you don't know you've never seen before. I hope you go out and find those things. That what usually happens when you see things like haul videos. You start to put new things in your head, and then you go out and you're like, oh my god, I've always seen these. I never knew they were worth anything. Mm -hmm. So I hope that's what we've done for you tonight. And Toja says good night. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is that what 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 cat's behind me there? Behind you there? Um, oh, that's Phoebe. That's our girl. The so, only other girl in the house. <laughs> so for Phoebe and Atocha and Roxy and Tiki and Jason and Nadine, I say thank you. Any last words? Thank you very much, everybody, and uh, happy thrifting this week. And we'll see you um, on Thursday night. Um, oh yeah. I hope, yeah. We didn't talk about our guests last week, so let's talk about them real quick. Oh yeah, we have a yeah. You can. So Lizzie and Tom is her husband, uh, husband and wife. They thrift together, but they mainly buy toys and games. And so the uh, we're going to talk about. They do some haul videos. They're very fun, and they're a great couple. And uh, I think uh, we're going to learn a lot about games and toys. I'm pretty good at it, but when I watch their haul videos, I'm like. That's worth money? Holy shit, I would never even have thought that. So yeah, tune in great. Thursday, right? Yeah, Duff, that's great because uh, I'm not a big... I mean, I sell some puzzles and stuff and some games, but I'm not a big toy seller. So um, you would think that I would know... I know some stuff about toys because I have kids, but not not as much as they do. So it'll be interesting. Cool. All right, so that's it. Have a good evening. Thrift on. See you later. Good night. Thank you. Bye.